Did you know that 75% of users' judgment of how credible your website is depends on its aesthetic? This is Sarah from User Guiding, and today we are looking at 17 UX and UI trends that you should be looking out for in 2022. Without further ado, let's get to it. Number one on our list is dark mode. Now we're all aware of how popular dark mode is and we all love the look. But apart from that, it really has some great advantages too. For example, it saves your battery life, it enhances readability, at the same time, it reduces eye strain. What else can you ask for? Second on our list is neomorphism, which is a combination of screwmorphism and flat design. It really looks good, but it's almost plastic looking looks and a 3D-ish design. But at the same time, some UX experts fear that it might not be the greatest thing for UX right now. It really does kill intuitiveness and accessibility to some point, and it just might not be as good as it looks. Still, it is a really futuristic look, and we just might come across it more in 2022. Number three on our list is animations, which is something we are kind of used to seeing in mobile apps especially, uh, both in UI and product promotions. Now, the reason why it is so popular is basically because it is way better than static design, but at the same time, it makes user flows way more intuitive and better in a sense, for users because it decreases the need for uh, models and banners and we are expecting more and more animations in 2022. Number four on our list is advanced micro-interactions. Now, micro-interactions are already things that we're quite familiar with, with uh, Instagram's likes and Twitter's retweets, but advanced micro-interactions are a little bit different, especially after the pandemic uh, with the introduction of uh, air control and no-touch controls. Advanced micro-interactions will be a lot more popular in 2022. Number five on our list is well typography, which is something you might have come across already. It really is a part of a more comprehensive, bigger aesthetic, but at the same time, it works best in microsites and landing pages. You might have come across really great examples of it on uh, Nikes or Drifts or Dropboxes uh, landing pages, but we will be definitely Definitely seeing more and more of full typography in 2022. At number six, we have smooth gradients. Uh, and smooth gradients is really a part of a trend that concerns uh, itself with icon design the most, but at the same time, it is a general design style. Um, the most important examples of this trend would be Apple's and Microsoft's. Uh, and also Google's redesigns of their icons, which really do look a lot better than before, and we will be seeing more of it in 2022. At number seven, we have 3D design, which is a lot similar to animations uh, and is also better than static design. Uh, although there are some memory consumption problems with 3D design, it really does a great job um, grabbing the user's attention and we are hoping for and looking for um, better and better 3D designs as AR and VR technologies continue to get better. And number eight, we have empty state and error state illustrations. Now I for one completely hate uh, going into those 404 pages where I cannot do anything and just go blank. Uh, but nowadays, designers are doing their best to add some fun little illustrations to the user experience to make things more fun, more intuitive, more accessible, more um, friendly for users. And I couldn't appreciate it more, honestly. We will be seeing more of that in 2022 too. At number nine, we have design systems, which are more uh, about discipline than they are about trends. Um, and they're not definitely not new. They have been around for a while, but with more and more companies uh, trying to adapt more comprehensive environments for their designers to work collaboratively, uh, design systems like Ant Design and Material Design 
are becoming more and more popular and we're definitely going to be seeing more design systems in 2022. Talking about collaboration at number 10, we have virtual and remote collaboration. Now, we all have been working from home for almost two years now and some of us are still going on with it. So from smaller companies to bigger ones, everyone's trying to adapt to it, obviously. Uh, there are some really cool new tools that are starting up. Meanwhile, some other uh, older tools like Slack and Microsoft Teams are trying to adapt to the environment of remote collaboration. And we are seeing better remote and virtual collaboration in 2022 as well. At number 11, we have augmented reality and virtual reality. Now, when it comes to AR and VR, the opportunities are truly endless. And one other thing to note is that UI design has really been affecting AR and VR. So it is only a matter of time before AI and VR also affect and impact UI design too. And we are guessing that it just might happen in 2022. So look out for it. At number 12, we have voice user interface and touchless interactions. In the wake of the pandemic, we have really gone through a lot of changes and one of these changes was the way we interact with our devices. We have really been using air gesture control as well as voice control and it have become really popular today too. In 2022, we will be seeing very advanced uh, ways and methods of doing these. The other thing that really changed was user onboarding. And at number 13, we have great user onboarding experiences. Now, again, in the wake of pandemic, we cannot be in the same room and face to face with our users anymore. And it really is a hustle to uh, do demos and little conferences with our users. Instead, we are doing the user onboarding part a lot better with uh, better um, patterns and elements in the user onboarding experience for users. It just really is more friendlier now in 2022 and it will continue to be so. At number 14, we have frictionless authentication. Uh, one other thing we realized was our shared hate for passwords. They are not fun at all and they are not as secure as they used to. So uh, we are trying out new ways to um, use as our passwords. For example, biometric login or social login are working really well right now. And we are uh, going to be seeing a lot more uh, intuitive and advanced ways of logging in in 2022. At number 15, we have UX writing and microcopy, which have been very important parts of UX uh, as they were. It's just that we are not realizing how important they have been all along. So in 2022, we will be seeing the importance of words and user experience again. At number 16, we have personalized experiences, which is something we're really familiar with, uh, thanks to uh, examples like Facebook, books on the same future or Google Photos memories future but today it is more e-commerce websites that is using this uh, personalized experiences uh, especially for their personalized uh, buy recommendations and such so we will be seeing more of it in 2022 for sure Finally, at number 17, we have super apps like Yandex Go and WeChat, which have been insanely popular in Asian countries, uh, just because they are extremely functional with little apps in them uh, for finance and gaming, social media, messaging, different things, uh, all good. But one little problem has been that the Silicon Valley has been really skeptical about them. So in 2022, we foresee that they will be in rise. This was 17 UX and UI trends that you should be looking out for in 2022. This is Sarah from User Guiding. Thank you for listening.